All right, now Docker images. What are Docker images? Now, Docker image is a read-only template with instruction for creating a Docker container. Okay, so often an image is based on another image with some additional customization. So for example, you may build an image which is based on Ubuntu image, but install the Apache web server and your application as well as the configuration details needed for the make to make your application run. All right. So actually I'm reading from an official documentation. So the image, after all, as simple as that, it is the operating system. Okay. It is the operating system that you need to run. So it is Ubuntu, it is Python, Nginx, Fedora, whatever. All right. So let's have a look actually here on the terminal. If I type Docker images like this, you can see that I don't have any images, no tag, image ID, created size. Okay. So this is the Docker images command. So if I type Docker images dash dash help. So I have, I need the help for this images this, to see what options I have for this command. You can see that this is the usage, the Docker images the options i have from these and then i will have the repository then with colon the tag for this image okay so if you can see that here dash a or dash dash all so to show all the images default hide the intermediate images and the intermediate images here if you have a look the docker images have intermediate layers that increase use reusability disk decrease disk usage and speed up docker build by allowing each step by the cache so as you can see to be cached each step will be cached these intermediate layers are not shown by default okay so when you type this command docker image you will not images you will not see any intermediate images unless you type the, the dash a like this but as you can see i don't have any images on the whole system okay now here you can see that we can have and see the digest the digest which is the hash now we can have the dash f or dash dash filter and put the filter we want and here to filter output based on condition provided now we can have the dash dash format string so here if you need to pretty print images using a go template and no trunk don't truncate the output and uh, here you can see that we can have this option and this option will be used a lot actually and it is exist on almost every docker commands which is the dash q or dash dash quiet so here to only show the numeric ids the image id so i will show the image id and you may ask me but why should i use it well you can put two commands inside each other and use this so for example you need to do something like docker remove for example remove remove image and here you will put this thing and this thing much which means execute this as a linux or as a mac or a, as a shell command okay docker images dash q okay now don't worry about that we will handle all of that in details when time comes on the hands-on labs we will handle that in details there but just keep that in in your mind for now and keep with me okay so we learned what are the images, what are the intermediate images, what is the options available for the docker images command, and so far so good for now, keep with me, stay focused, don't worry, this is the theory part, St we still in the theory part, don't worry at all, just to have a good overview about the different concepts and components of docker, okay, I will see you in the next lecture.